The transportation of micromaterials is crucial for many applications in chemistry, medicine, and engineering. Although numerous techniques have been developed, they tend to be complicated, specialized, and inconvenient. In this study, researchers used a technique called frontal polymerization, or FP, to generate a wave that could push molecular cargo across the surface of a gel like a conveyor belt. Using this technique, the researchers could gradually bring two compounds together over a small area to form nanocrystals, proving the method's usefulness for targeted chemical reactions. Frontal polymerization was originally developed as a way to link building block molecules called monomers together to form a polymer. In this technique, heating one end of a gel causes the monomers in this region to bind together. This reaction releases heat, which dissipates to the neighboring monomers and triggers their polymerization. This heating also causes the gel to expand, creating a wave as the FP proceeds along the length of the gel. In this study, a microballoon placed on the surface of one of these gel conveyor belts was successfully transported from one side of the gel to the other. The researchers found that successful transport depended on the appropriate selection of the balloon diameter and the gel composition, which determines how much the gel expands or swells when heated. If the microballoon is too large or small for a given gel composition, the microballoon will be unable to move in sync with the wave along the gel. Further investigation also revealed that the transportation speed could be controlled by varying the initial heating temperature. This is because the polymerization reaction proceeds more quickly at higher temperatures, causing the waves to travel more rapidly along the gel. Because of its potential to reliably deliver very small chemical cargoes, the authors applied this technique to synthesize cadmium sulfide nanocrystals directly on a gel plate. One way to form cadmium sulfide nanocrystals is by allowing sodium sulfide to slowly react with cadmium chloride. The authors therefore used their conveyor belt gel to send microballoons filled with sodium sulfide toward an island of cadmium chloride embedded in the gel. Once there, the sodium sulfide diffused into the gel and reacted with the cadmium chloride, forming cadmium sulfide nanocrystals. This successful synthesis shows that FP conveyor gels can be used to transport chemical cargo to very specific locations, providing researchers with very fine control over chemical reactions. In the future, FP-driven autonomous conveyor gels may also see use in such fields as tissue engineering, microfluidics, and biomedicine.